In this tutorial for Stellar, we'll be going over how to create a light plot in your scene. To create a light plot, tap the light plot button in the bottom right hand corner. This brings up a screen that will allow you to take a photo, import a photo, or import a document into the scene. I'm going to import a photo as I have a light plot already in my library. I tap import photo and select the light plot that I want to use. I could zoom in and scale the light plot if I wish. As you can see, my light plot represents a lot of different fixtures. To bring the real world fixtures onto my light plot, I simply drag out a fixture and place it on the light plot that corresponds to the real world location of that fixture. I'll do that for all of the fixtures in my list. You can see that the fixtures have a checkbox next to them to indicate that they've been already dragged out. This is very helpful if you have a very long list of fixtures. Using the scale icon slider in the top of the page, I could change the size of each fixture icon. This is important if you have a very dense light plot. I could also toggle on the light plot 60%, which will change the contrast of the light plot image, allowing me to see the fixtures more clearly. After I'm done, I could hit the done button in the top right hand corner and my light plot is now complete. You'll see a blue circle around the selected light source. In order to change the fixture I want to adjust, I simply tap on the image. I could go back to the light plot and select a different fixture for adjustment. If I didn't want to go back and forth between the two screens, I could press the light plot toggle switch in the top left hand corner, which will replace the list of fixtures with the light plot image. I could use two fingers to zoom in and pan around the image. Here I could select a different fixture and control the fixture right away. If we go back to the light plot view, you could see that the two L7s that we grouped are highlighted with a blue circle around them. This is the color code we selected earlier. These fixtures will act exactly the same if I tap on one of them. Both fixtures will change their color simultaneously. If I want to make changes to the light plot, I could hit the edit button in the top right hand corner and add or remove fixtures or even select a new light plot image. To remove fixtures, I simply tap the remove fixtures button and press the X underneath the fixture I wish to remove. I can of course redrag out the fixture and place it somewhere else if I wish, or just leave it off the light plot. I could press the done button in the top right hand corner when I'm finished. That concludes this video about the light plot feature in Stellar. Thanks for joining us.